हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑन द पी वाई क्वेश्चन ऑफ मार्क ऑफ चेंग टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ईयर जून टू थाउजेंड इलेवन टू जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एज आई डिस्कस इन माई पार्ट वन वी विल अगेन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ शॉर्टकट ट्रेक्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश गर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीश गर अदरवाइज यू कैन सिंपली स्कैन एंड ज्वाइन माई व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस पी वाई क्वेश्चन विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन माई प्ले लिस्ट सी एस आर यू जी सी नेट वेर यू कैन फाइंड द पी वाई क्वेश्चन ऑफ द रियल एनालिसिस कॉम्प्लेक्स लीनियर एलजब्रा एंड मेनी मोर एज वेल यू कैन सी द पी वाई क्वेश्चन ऑफ द पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड दिस इज द पार्ट वन विच वी हैव डिस्कस इन दवर लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द डिसंबर इलेवन टू ट्वेंटी थ्री सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वन सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई जस्ट गिव यू द फर्स्टली सेवरल ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स which you can solve for the mark of chain so if you have any of the mark of chain make sure the sum of the each row should be a one that is called as the mark of chain then in every year at least the two question will be asked related to the mark of chain and these two questions will be of either you find the stationary probability either you find the uh, classification of the states whether they are recurrent transient or the absorbing and then you have to find whether it's irreducible or periodic and here so these three kind of the question will be asked in each year at least two question so i will tell you the shortcut tricks for shortcut tricks for each case so let's start with the first one if you prove if you check that the diagonal entry is one any of the diagonal entry is one then the corresponding state is called as the absorbing state that is trips for here how you check whether it's absorbing state or not if you prove that each of the diagonal entries like say p i i is non zero if any of the di if any of the diagonal entry is my non zero then the period of the state is always be a one but converse need not be true if all the states has a period one then we call as the a uh, periodic if if you can say p i j is greater than zero for all i and j then we call as the irreducible otherwise there is another way we can check about the irreducible so if you prove that the markov chain is irreducible markov chain is a periodic a periodic that is a if you prove that the period is by 1 then it has a unique stationary distribution if you prove that the markov chain is reducible then it has infinitely many distribution stationary distribution next shortcut trick is if you prove that the any of the state like 1 2 3 if you prove Two is my transient state. I will explain you how you can prove that. If you prove that the transient state, then the limiting probability of the jth, whatever is here, so like p one two, p three j, whatever is there, it is zero. But there, the total sum will be my finite. If you prove that the Markov chain has a closed class i comma j, then both behave of the same nature. What is the same nature? Is if i is my recurrent. then j is also recurrent if i is transient then j is also transient what is the meaning of the closed class is like here if you prove that this is a closed class and zero is my recurrent then all the others are also recurrent how you can prove that your markov chain is a closed for example if i think about here the states are my 0 1 2 and 3 0 1 2 and 3 so look at that 0 1 so that is zero row first row that is my here these are the elements of this check whether their row sum is one or not you can see half plus half one one so that means this is the closed class if you look about that as uh, three simple so third row third column what is the point of intersection is one so that is again a one so this is this is also a closed class look at the two only two so second row second column that is my here which is not equal to 1 so this is my not closed and if you prove that in any of the markov chain two closed class if you prove that there are the two closed classes are there then it is called as the irreducible that's a simple shortcut tips for you how you find the stationary probability there are the two cases when it's a 2 cross 2 and it's a n cross n the shortcut tips whenever you have the 2 cross 2 matrix then the stationary probability is denoted as a pi which is nothing but my this is my state i this is state j then it is my you consider these two diagonal entries b over total and this is a over total this is the stationary probability you can find it directly otherwise you can find like of this p pi p of this and then you can solve that but there is no need of this 
whenever you have the n cross n matrix like of this as a 3 cross 3 4 cross 4 then always try to solve by p minus identity matrix of the transpose what is that if i take about here this is the p11 minus 1 i take the transpose so it is my p21 p31 so it's a p12 p22 minus 1 and then so on so now you have to find this you have to solve this determinant so if it is a 3 cross 3 you can solve any of the n minus 1 row because if it is 3 cross 3 you can solve any two rows along with that the pro transition probability or stationary probability is my one so you can solve any two row plus one third row is my here and you can find the uh, stationary probability if you have proved that it's a double markov chain like what is the meaning of the double markov chain is each row sum is one that is if you add them it will be one if you add them it will be one and similarly for here and as well as double means if each column sum is also one if you add like this manner it is also one so once you prove that it's a double markov chain then the stationary probability is always one by n like if if i say this is a by double markov chain how many states three states so its stationary probability will be my 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. There is no need to solve like this or this man. If you want to solve again by this, then again you will get the same answer. So let's start with this shortcut tricks like here. What is that? You have to find the period. You have to find the stationary probability. Look at that. The diagonal entries are non-zero uh, are zero. So you can't say that the, it is always one. What you can do is firstly you can see it's a double stochastic Markov chain because you can see row sum and column sum are same so what is the stationary probability number of the states are 3 so 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 states are 1 2 3 so you can see the pi of 1 this is my pi 1 this is the state 2 and this is my state 3 so you can see about that the third option is directly cancel out how you find the markov chain you can draw the diagram so this is my 1 2 and 3 so 1 to 2 you can draw 1 to 3 you can draw. always draw this transition diagram 2 to 1 2 to 3 3 to 1 3 to 2 fine now firstly you can check about whether it's a irreducible or not how you can check that if you start from the one is it possible you can go to the each state 2 and 3 yes you can go is it possible if you start from the two you can go to the each state 1 and 3 yes and so on. yes it is a irreducible how you find the a periodic that is you have to find the period so what is the period of one that is a gcd of can you move one to one in a one single step it is not possible can you move from one to one in a two step yes you can do like a fair so how many steps are there two is it possible to the three step yes you can go from one to two then two to three then three to one it's a three step and so on so you can see the gcd of two and three is one and whatever is there gcd is a one so this has a period is 1. So it's they need to find. So this is the right answer. This is the wrong answer. Similarly, can you find? Now you can see this is a closed class. Why? Because you can start from the 1. You can come back to the 1 from the 2. You can come back from the 3 as well. So 1, 2, 3 are my closed class. Now once it's a closed. So the right answer is my here. A and D. But you all know if it is a closed class. So whatever the period of the 1, these are the same as that of the period of the 2 and period of the 3. So we prove that the period of the 1 is here. So all the state has a period 1. So it has a periodic state. Now once it's irreducible, once it's a periodic, so it has a unique stationary distribution. And that stationary distribution will be here. So uh, if, if in this case it is proof asked that it's irreducible, the yes, a periodic yes, unique distribution yes, and here. Look at here. So clearly says that the column sum is not one. So it is not a here. Now you can check limiting probability. This will be zero when it is my transient. As I discussed in the shortcut tricks, that is three is my transient. What is the shortcut tricks for the transient? As I mentioned in my previous lecture also, look at the third column. If this third column only one value, only one value, like for example, here. So what is the value of this is P so uh, if if i say this is my only value so then you can what is the shortcut tricks for finding the transient state is 
look at the number of this is 2 3 which is non 1 then this is said to be the transient if what is the opposite of this is 3 comma 2 is non 0 so look at that p of 2 comma 3 is my 1 by 3 which is not 1 what is the 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 is my here which is non 0 so it means it is not a transient and when you can say it is a transient when the opposite of them is my 0 then you can say it is transient if the opposite of them is a non zero then we can say it is a not transient but in this example you can see none of the column is my one so how you can check is a transient or not you can draw the diagram so i can quickly draw the diagram how you can draw that so from one to one one to two is not there so start from the two sorry it start from the zero zero then one one goes to this one to one one to two fine now you can start from the 2, 2 to 1, 2 to 2, 2 to 3, fine. Then 3 to 2, 3 to 4, 3 to 3 and 4 to 4. Now you can check that. Is it possible you can start from the 0 and reach back at 0? No. So it means this is my not irreducible because they are not accessible from the each case. So what is the meaning of that? They are my reducible. Now, if you start from the zero, there is only one way. Can you come back to the zero? Yes. So this is my recurrent class. Moreover, you can see the diagonal length is one. This is called as the absorbing state as well. Look at the one. If you start from the one, can you come back to the one again? Not possible. Why? Because if you go from the one to zero, there is no pass from the zero to one. So what is the meaning of that? One is my transient state. Now you can see this is my close one to two. So it means one and two are in the same block. Two and three are also be there. So you can start from the one to two, two to three, three to two, two to one. So one, two, three are in the close group. You can also see that one, two, three. That is, this is my one, two, three. Fine. Now you can see you have already proved the first one is my transient. So it means this is also transient. This is also transient. So once you prove that the third is my transient, so the limiting probability will be my G. So that's a simple right answer. Diagonal entry of four is also one. So this is also called as the absorbing state. So this is not a clause, but it is my one communicating class R. Why it's not a clause? Because you can see the sum of the each row is not a one. For the close case, you have to prove that each row, the box, this will be a 1. But it is not a 1. It is a communicating class. So each has the same nature. 1 is a transient. So 3 is also the transient. Okay. Xn is a Markov chain such that how many states are there? There's a 1. This is a 0. So there is a 0 and 1. There are the two states in this case. What is that? 1 to 1. 1 to 1, the probability is my P1. So this will be my 1 minus p1 so that sum will be 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 the probability is my p0 this will be my minus here then you have to find the probability at x so it's a 2 cross 2 you can find the stationary probability how you can find that this is 1 minus p1 divided by the total of this 1 minus p0 plus p1 this is 1 minus p1 plus p0 then your target is to find the pi 1. Pi 1 is at the state 1. That is my here. What is the right answer of this? This is my pi 1. So that is the right answer of this problem. That is a simple shortcut to explain. Okay, look at this one. Consider the Markov chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which is of this. You can see here when it will be happen. When your state is my transient. Third is my transient. Then only is there. This will be 0 when you have proved that this A, whatever the A is my transient because limiting probability will be 0. This value uh, is a 4, it's a, it's a 4, 4. That means a 4 is simple for me, that's a 4, 4. So it means uh, 4 because it's a non zero, so you have to prove that it is my not transient. And this is the solution, that means you have to prove that fifth is my transient that's the meaning of this now you can check firstly you can check about the transient 
third is transient there is no single element look about this is a single element what is that this is a p 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so p 5 5 is non one what is the opposite of that this is again there's a same element so this is my transient because this is a single element so once this is a transient so the this value will be zero so this is the right answer so now you can delete the fifth row fine fifth and now what is the remaining is you can see it's a four cross four and you can see the remaining four cross four is my double stochastic markov chain rows and columns are are same so what is the direct transition probability or stationary probability states are my four so 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 so you can see this is the right answer it means this is not the stationary probability because it's if it is a transient probability then it will be zero this is not the transition this is not there so right answer is only by d is the right answer okay again you can see the sum of this will be one sum of this is one sum of this will be one yes so it is my double mark of chain so the stationary probability will be my there are the three states 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 fine so now what is the meaning of that when it will be zero limiting probability of this two will be 1 by 3 so it is cancel out limiting probability of two is my 1 by here is the cancel out limiting probability of two at the point one last case is a one is a 1 by 3 is the correct option look at that here you have to always look at the two and here is my 1 that is p 1 2 of n and p 2 1 of n you can see the last option 1 and 2 both have the same 1 by 3 1 by 3 so the right answers are b and d are the right answers moreover uh, is it a irreducible how you can check that you can simply draw the diagram if if somebody ask you that whether it's a transient or not how many states are transient so you can see 1 to this here 0 1 to 0 1 to 2 2 to 0 2 to 1 and here so what is the period of the zero so it's a self loop period is 1 period of the 2 1 and you can see you can start from the zero and reach through the each path so all have the communicating class so it means the period of the each state must be same so this is also one what is the meaning of that it is a periodic and you can see each can be communicate to each other it is irreducible as well so what is the meaning of that it will give you a unique stationary distribution so if somebody ask you whether it's irreducible you can check yes a periodic period one unique and here is the right answer so like here it's a transient admit at least two and so on so is a double markov chain again yes is a double markov chain so the stationary probability will be 1 by 5 1 over 5 1 over 5 and say fine now you can draw the diagram so there are the state of the 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 so you can write as a 1 2 3 4 5 fine so 1 goes to the 2 1 goes to the 3 2 goes to the 3 2 goes to the 4 3 goes to the 4 3 goes to the 5 4 goes to the 1 and 4 goes to the 5 and 5 goes to the 1 5 goes to the 2 that's all now self loop is not be there so you have to find the firstly period so what is the gcd of the first state period of the one so how many way you can can you come back one to the one step no so there is a one path 1 to 2 1 2 3 Four. This is the one way. Another way is one, two, one to two, two to four, four to one. There are the three path and so on. Clearly say that GCD of this is my one. So this is my one. Fine. Now, so state one has a period two. Cancel out. So now period is over. Now state two is a recurrent or not? What is the meaning of the recurrent? If you start from the two, can you come back the two again to each path? so 2 is start from here so you can see 2 can be move on this side 2 can be move on this side so if i move on this side is it possible to come back on the one on the 2 so 1 2 3 so i can go 2 to 
then three to either I can go four or three to five. If I go from the four, I can come back to the one and then one to two. Fine. If I go from three to five, then five to one and then one to two as well. Or otherwise, I can go five to two directly here. So in each path, I can come start from the two and come back to the two again. So what is the meaning of that? It is a recurrence, correct? Same for the three. If I start from the three, can I come back to the three again? So you can see uh, one path is there. Can you come back two to three? Yes, you can see two to three is possible. This is also possible. This is also possible. Or how many ways are there? You can go from the three to four. 4 to 1, 1 to 3. Okay, 3 to 4. So it means this it is all possible. So 3 is my recurrent class. But he said transient. Transient means if you start from the 3, you can never come back to the 3. So this option is cancel out. Now, since how you can say at least 2, that is a not a unique. So the period of the day is my 1. What is that? If you start from the you can see all are in the my 1 line 2, 3, 4, 5. So it means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is my communicating class. So each has a each has the same period. So if the D of 1 is 1, so what is the meaning of that? D2, D3 all have my period 1. It is a periodic. Moreover, you already proved that 2 is my recurrent. So all are in the same class. So all these states are my recurrent class. So that they are not talking about that. It is irreducible as well. Because you can start from the any state, you can go to the other state as well. So it is a irreducible, it is a, a, a periodic, so it means it has a unique distribution, probability, stationary distribution. But he said at least two is the wrong answer. So correct answer is only B is the right answer. Okay, now you can see it is not a column sum is not one. All the state has a period, same period. You can see each of the diagonal entry is my non-zero. So what is the meaning of that? Each of the state has the same period. What is the period is 1. Fine. So what is the meaning of that? It is my a uh, period. So all the states have the same period. That's a correct option. Now how you can check whether it is recurrent or transient. So clearly say that. If you look about in this picture, it is clearly say that this is row sum is 1. So it means if I call this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 1 and 2 are my same clause class. So if you prove that 2 is my transient, 3, 1 is also transient. So look at look at that. How you can see? I can draw the diagram. 3 I can return as in between. 1, 2, 4, 5. So 3 can go to the 1, 3 can go to the 2, 3 can go to the 3, 4, 5. 1 goes to the 2, 1 goes to the 1, 2 goes to the 1, 2 goes to the 2, fine, 4 goes to the 1, 4 goes to the 2, 4 goes to the 3, 4 goes to the 4 and 5 goes to the 5. Now you can see, firstly, is it possible you can start from the 1 and come back to the 1 again to the each way, so 1 goes to the here only. So 1 to 2, is it possible to go? Yes. So it is my recurrent class. Fine. Similarly for the 2. So from the 2, you can go only on this side. So is it possible? Because 1 and 2 are the same. So 1 is my recurrent. So 2 is also the recurrent. So I called as 2 is also recurrent. Look at the 3. How many ways? If you go from the 3 to 4, 4 can you come back to 4 to 3? Yes. If you go from 4 to 1, 1 to 2 but it is not possible that you can come back to the 3 if you choose this path it means 3 is my transient state fine so all these states are transient that's wrong because two states are my recurrent some states are transient that's true because 3 is a one of the states so this is the right answer all the states are recurrent this is a wrong option so a and c are my correct option of this now, if you prove that third is my transient, so what is the meaning of that? If you find the probability of the third, whatever is there of the nth, its value will be my zero. If you find the stationary probability, then the third state probability will be my zero. Rest you can find that. If you want to check whether the fourth is my transient or not, 
if you start from the four you come you go to the one one to two two to one only possible but you can never come back to the uh, one to four is not possible you can never come back to four so four is also be by transient so it means stationary probability will also be the zero here similarly for the five if you go from five from only from the five to five so this is my absorbing or you can say it's a recurrent so these two values will be zero or else you can find it as well okay and how you can find that you can see if you find the stationary probability uh, although it is not asked you can delete the third row and the fourth row you can delete the third column fourth column now the left of them is my left of what is the left is there these two these two and these two and this and clearly say that this is a double mark of chain because row sum of these three column sum is my here so what is that this is my 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 so this is the stationary probability if they ask them it is irreducible it is possible you can start from the one state to go back to the another in each case and here okay which of the following is a periodic so states are my 0 1 2 you always draw the diagram firstly so 1 to 2 uh, 0 to 1 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 fine all the states are uh, periodic now you can see it's a closed chain so 0 1 and 2 are in the communicating class once they are in the communicating class all have the same nature so what is the period of the 0 so gcd of how many steps you can take from the 0 to 0 3 there is only one path so it means this has of the period 3 so it means this also has the period 3 because we are in the same class so d of 2 is also 3 so all the states have period 3 correct state 0 is a periodic cancel why because for the a periodic you need a period to be a 1 so this is a cancel all the states are a periodic again cancel because you need all the states has a period 1 then only the a periodic state 0 has a period 2 that's the wrong option so right answer is only by d moreover it is irreducible as well yes because if you start from 0 you can come back to the 0 you can go from 1 to 2 2 to 1 and then so on it is a periodic no so it means it is not a unique stationary distribution now all are in the same class check whether it's a transient or the recurrent if you start from the zero can you come back to the zero yes you can come back to the zero easily similarly so it means G, uh, two is my recurrent so all are in the same class so one is also recurrent two is also recurrent so it means this mark of chain is my recurrent although they are not asking in this example but if in in the coming examination they are asking recurrent transient so you can look about here so there is no transient class in this case okay and like here so this is the same example so 0 1 2 1 2 2 2 to 1 and here this is the same here so we prove that 0 1 and 2 are in the same communicative class also they are irreducible okay so the period of the 0 is my 3 so all has a period 3 is it a periodic no it is not periodic so they are the same so 0 is my recurrent class it means this is also recurrent this is also recurrent all the all the states are my recurrent so is it irreducible yes is it recurrent markov chain is recurrent when when all the states all the states are my recurrent and yes all the states are my recurrent is a recurrent is a periodic no is has a stationary distribution you can see if it is a irreducible a periodic it means it is not a unique stationary probability what is the meaning of that it has infinitely many stationary distribution so it has a stationary distribution yes although it has a infinitely but it has a stationary distribution so right answers are a b and d are the correct answers of this example okay now look at the conditional probability x3 is equal to 2 condition x2 is equal to 1 whenever there is a conditional probability start from here to this you can write this number as 1 to 2 
what is the time period is one so it is my one so what is the one two so states are my zero one two three zero one two three so one to two one to two so this is the answer of this problem if somebody ask you that you can find x is here condition x one is equal to one for example how you can write that is a one to two from one to two what is the time period is it's a one it's a three so that's my two remember it is not equal to 0 0.5 square it is not a square it's a time period how you can find that there are the two ways firstly you can draw the diagram if you want fine you can draw the diagram like of this manner one to two here and then you can write here one to one two step period look at the how many ways you can go from like of this like this this the way two to zero and two to two three to one three to one and three to three so for example what is the one to two on for the two time period this is the one this is the two so one uh, one two two sorry one how many ways are there so you can go from one to one one to two so you can go from one to one and then two so this is the two time period any other way if i go from yes only this way is there if you have find almost all the pair and then find the probability what is the 1 to 1 0.5 1 to 2 0.5 and here otherwise one more method is there how you can solve that this what is the time period is 2 you can find the p square you can find the p square you will get again a 4 cross 4 matrix and then look at the 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 whatever the answer is here that is the answer of this if they are asking about the cube like of this zero so it is my three so then you can find the p cube and then look about the one comma two now look at the again same example initial probability is given to you now this is the chain x3 is equal to 2 x2 is equal to 1 x1 is 1 x0 is my 2 look at that we call this as a chain while in the previous this is my conditional probability okay so whenever the chain you can start from here 2 goes to 1 then 1 and then 2 fine look at the time period 0 to uh, 2 to 1 how many time period is 1 time period 1 to 2 again a 1 time period 2 to 3 is again a 1 time period and this dotted line is my initial probability fine so what is that 2 to 1 so this is 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 because of this 2 to 1 2 to 1 is my 0 2 1 0 1 to 1 0.5 1 to 2 0 0.5 this is my initial probability of the state 2 2 is my in the third position third position is my 1 by 4 now what's the right answer is 1 by 4 0 0.5 0 0.5 answer is 0 is the correct answer. If, if for example if they are asking about like of this x4 what will happen this period will be my 2 then it is not the point 2 for that you have to find the p square and then look about the corresponding value of the 1 2 2 in this case is there otherwise you can draw the transition diagram and then look about the possible pairs again these are my chain you can see this is my x2 is 1 x1 is my 2 so you start from the 2 and then from the 1 time period is my 1 this is my initial probability what is that states are my 1 2 3 1 2 3 you can find the missing numbers the sum row is my 1 so it is 0.5 this is my 0.4 this is my 0.45 2 to 1 0.35 this is the initial probability of the time period 1. So, initial probability if I call as a q1, add initial probability is q1. This is the initial probability. This is the initial probability of the q0. Initial probability is always q0. But this is my state 1. Fine. But you can see here the state is also given as a 1. So, you can see this is my q1. So, this is my of this state. So, what is the answer of this? State 1. 0.2 so 0.2 into 0.3 is my 
zero is there or otherwise if you think this is my q0 then you have to find the firstly value of the q1 how you can find that q1 this is q what is the time difference is one so that's why it's a one if we can say four what is the time difference is four minus zero is four then you have to write as a q p raised to power four this is p and four so now if it is my q1 is a q0 of p q0 is 0.2.3.5 and this is my 0.3.35.45 and then so on now you can multiply them you will get these three answers and this is my state one so you need a first answer of this here so you can easily find that this is a 0.2 into 0.3 that is 0.06 this into this 105 this into this 0.225 so you can write that this is the here nine here fine so now this is my answer of this you can multiply them then none of this is the right answer. so initial probability you can depend on okay suppose that all the states of the markov chain are recurrent i and g are the two states such that i belongs to the j what is the meaning of the recurrent what is the meaning of the recurrent it means if you start from the i you must come back to the i then only is the recurrent if you are unable to come back on the i then we call as the transient but in this example what is given to you is a recurrent is given to it means if you start from the i you must come back to the i and given that i goes to the j so it means there must exist there must exist one path from j to i as well then this must be satisfied here pij is greater than 0 or pj is here this is because of the or but it must be the and so that's why this is not satisfied this will be here look at that the total probability will be 0 when this j is my transient remember if it is a transient then it will be true but here this is a recurrent then it will not be a Uh, uh, it will not be less than infinity it must be the infinity half so it's a transient is a cancel out for each state k if i belongs to the k then k but here is a word of or it must be and so this option is also cancel out right answer is only my a is the correct answer okay so we could consider this markov chain you have to find the stationary probability so look at that firstly you can check whether the column sum is one no so it means it is not a double markov chain look at there is only one value states are my 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 look at that column 2 has only one value what is the position is 2 2 which is not equal to 1 what is the opposite of that it's again 2 2 so that's a diagonal element it is my transient so once it's a transient so you have to find the 4 what is that this this Two state is my transient, so probability will be my zero. So first option will be cancel out. This answer will be happen only when it is my double Markov chain, but it is not a Markov chain double. This could be right answer. This is my, it must be zero. So this option is cancel. Now look at that. Now you can delete this here. Fine. Now you can check what's the remaining that is it double Markov chain? Yes. You can see the remaining one is a. double markov chain so what is the what is the probability of this double markov chain there are the three states probability will be 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 so right answer is this right cancel out so right answer is only my d otherwise as i told you the shortcut tricks you can start from here as well you will get again the same answer but there is no need because these are the shortcut tricks as i explain you earlier as well or in this lecture also if you want to check whether it's a irreducible or the mark uh, irreducible or not how you can check that's over because the right answer is my here but if somebody ask you whether what's the period of this what is my irreducible unique you can draw that you can see the diagonal entries are my non zero so what is the meaning of that each of the state d of i is my one that is it is my uh, period fine if you prove that it is irreducible then it has a unique distribution so look at that 1 to 1 1 to 4 2 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 
थ्री फोर थ्री टू थ्री फोर टू वन फोर टू फोर नाउ यू कैन सी दैट इज इट ए रिडिसबल वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द ए रिडिसबल इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वन कैन यू इज इट पॉसिबल यू कैन गो टू द टू नॉट डायरेक्टली बट इनडायरेक्टली वन टू फोर बट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल देर इज नो वे यू कैन गो फ्रॉम वन टू टू इट मीन्स दिस इज माई नॉट ए रिडिसबल फाइन इट इज अ पीरियोडिक येस सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इज इट अ यूनिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्टेशनरी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नो इट हैज इन्फाइनाइटली मैनी स्टेशनरी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फाइन हाउ यू कैन चेक वेदर इज नाउ यू कैन सी वन टू फोर इज माई वन क्लास बिकॉज देर इज ओनली वन वे यू कैन गो फ्रॉम हेयर वट इज अ टू इफ यू गो फ्रॉम द टू इज इट पॉसिबल यू कैन कम बैक टू द टू वन टू इफ यू गो फ्रॉम द टू टू वन वन टू फोर फोर टू वन बट यू कैन नेवर कम बैक टू द टू इट मीन्स दिस इज माई ट्रांजियंट स्टेट एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू द शॉर्टकट वेक्स हाउ यू कैन चेक दैट वट इज द थ्री हाउ मेनी वेज यू कैन गो फ्रॉम द थ्री देर इज ओनली वन वे यू कैन कम बैक सो दैट इज कॉल एज द अब्जॉर्विंग और यू कैन से इट इज अ रेक्रेंट लुक एट द वन बिकॉज दे आर द क्लोज स्टार्ट सो वी कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वन इट इज यू कैन गो फ्रॉम वन टू फोर इट इज पॉसिबल सो दिस इज माई रेक्रेंट so once is a recurrent this is also a recurrent so there is only one transient class so that's why there is only one zero in this as okay look at this one so you have to draw the diagram how many states are there they are my infinite because it is not a finite so look at that 0 to 0 probability is my 2 by 3 0 to 1 probability is say 1 by 3 and this case when i is greater than equal to 1 when i is equal to 1 it is 1 to 2 and this is my 1 to 0 here then when i is equal to 2 then it is my 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 as some probability and this will be my 2 comma 1 here similarly you can see this is my 4 and then here and then so but it is my infinite it means this what is that the chain is not closed it is not a closed mark of chain so once it is not a closed mark of chain it means all these states are my are transient remember this is the shortcut tips for you when the mark of chain is not a finite and not a closed because you are unable to close the mark of chain so it is not a closed mark of chain so all these states are my transient so xn is a recurrent cancel all the states are transient it means markov chain is my transient fine so xn that the states is my transient is a correct option what is the meaning of that what is that it is my zero so zero to zero of the n as n approaches infinity so once this zero is my transient what is the probability that it must be my zero so but it said is a greater than zero is a cancel fine now look at the next one how you can think about this case how you can write you can start from the zero ending at the plus infinity of n step as limit n approaches infinity so what is the right answer of this but you can see this is my so zero we can't we can't say anything so it is not a transient because states are not finite it's a infinite so this probability can not be a zero so it means it is a because probability is always greater than 0 so this is my right answer because here infinity is my state but you you never know what is the state is there so the right answer is my this is the correct answer of the that is a b and d are my correct answers moreover is it a aperiodic because you can see there is a self loop so d of 0 is my 1 period of the 0 is 1 what is the period of the 1 how many ways you can come back to this there is a one way two path this is a one two three four this it is not one you can see one two three so you can see the gcd of two and four uh, two and three three and four is one so this has a period one again this has a period one and so on so it is a periodic yes is it a irreducible no so what is the meaning of that 
it it is a, a periodic it is a irreducible knot so it means it has infinitely many solutions okay look at this one consider the markov chain consider a periodic markov chain so what is the property of the markov chain is given to you it's a a periodic what is the meaning of that each of these state has a period one it is given to you and the stationary probability this is given to you as a stationary probability fine let the nth step probability will be here then first option is limit n approaches infinity p i i of n is zero when it will happen when this will be my transient or only then the limiting probability will be zero only if is my transient that's the right answer fine limiting probability second option is limiting probability of i i of n is greater than zero if and only if i is my recurrent that is not true why that's a very simple if i simply take the two state like of this one to two and uh, zero to one and here like of this uh, zero one one zero fine what is my p scale one zero zero one fine so what is the meaning of that you can see i i here is i i is my greater than zero fine but you can see this is my transient state this is my transient state why because you can you can go to the zero to one but you can never come back to the zero so what is the meaning of that p i i is not be trans so it if and only if it's a wrong look at that next one is if i clear this screen limiting probability of n approaches infinity p i j of n is limiting probability of the j and j of n if i and j are in the same commutating class that is a limiting here you can see this is my pi 1 up to the pi n so what is that you can see here j -th. jth that is a jth column fine jth column so whenever there is a limiting probability what is kind of the limiting probability if it is alpha 1 it is alpha 2 and say this is alpha n limiting probability each column has alpha 1 limiting probability has of this nature fine so you can see this is the jth state and each of the jth states has the same probability so that is the right answer to this is last option is p i j of n is p i i of n so now again he said they have the same probability that is i and j that means alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 when it will be happen this happen only when it is my double stochastic markov chain but it he said only as a stationary distribution they are not talking about that row sum and the column sum both as a one so this statement is not general true this is true only this is true only for the double stochastic markov chain but that is not given to you so the right answer is a and c are the correct options okay look at the next option what is given to you for the j, uh, state j i is my transient state fine i is given to the transient state then the sum of the probability what is the shortcut to x as i tell you in the earlier whenever there is a transient state whatever the index is there either i j of k this value will be my zero and the summation of i of this it should be less than of the finite whatever is the index is there that is n from 1 to infinity whatever the index is there if i is my transient then this previous index is my i that must be the finite so if it is equality then we call as the null recurrent or the uh, null null recurrent are there but it's is equality is equality is equality so both options are cancel out moreover this is my j but we are talking about the i s stage so this is my only condition about here because this is j is given to you what is the nature of this is it recurrent or transient it is not given to you only given that the ith stage is my transient so it means the only correct option is my here rest may or may not be there 
so here i say i i that's also fine but it said equality less than that is not correct option okay look at that mu 1 mu 2 mu 3 mu 4 these are my stationary probabilities fine of the markov chain on the state 1 2 3 4 1 and 2 are my transient if 1 and 2 are my transient what is my limiting probability of 1 what is the limiting probability of the 2 that is my 0 so that means this value must be 0 this value must be 0 and 3 and 4 are in the communicating class so what is the communicating class it may be a recurrent or it may be a transient but transient it not be there because it's there so it means this because it's a transition probability the sum must be the 1 so mu1 and mu2 are both 0 it's a and correct option the sum of them must be a 1 So mu three plus mu four is a one. That's here. One of them is a zero. Not necessary true. Not no. Not necessary zero uh, true. Why? If they are the transient, then both must be zero. If they are both recurrent, then it will not be a zero. Here, look at that first option. What is the meaning of the stationary probability? If you multiply this by p, it must be of here. Like if p is my stationary. it must be of this fine now i can write p cube as a p p and p this is my mu if i multiply this by p it is again mu if i multiply by p it's again a mu so this left hand side is my mu similarly for the right hand side is also mu because i can return this as a 5 times p this value will be mu if i take this p again it's a mu if i take this p again it's a mu if i take this p again it's a mu and the last one is again a mu so that means this is also the correct option so the right answers are a b and c are the correct answers of the problem okay for a finite markov chain finite states it means if i consider 1 to n it is a finite markov chain then the number of the stationary distribution so as i told you what is the nature of these states it can be irreducible or it can be reducible fine if it is irreducible then we will get as a unique stationary distribution if it is irreducible then we will get as the infinitely many distribution function so unique that is a 2 infinite means here it can never be a 0 it can never be a 2 so the right answer is my b and d e. that's a 2 and 4 are my correct option remember this because nothing is given to you about the behavior of the states so the, the markov chain is my irreducible then unique reducible infinite so right answer is 1 and infinite okay look at this markov chain it's a 2 cross 2 then you have to find the expected return expected return is already denoted by mu i i here is a zero so your target is to find the zero zero what is the answer of this is that is the reciprocal of 0 0 of n that's the result of this so what is that this is my limiting probability or you can say stationary probability how you can find it's a 2 cross 2 as i told you earlier if you have the 2 cross 2 how you can find the limiting probability it is not a double markov chain you can start from the pi p is equal to pi p otherwise states are my 0 1 so you have to look about this diagonal length is So what is the stationary probability? One over three divided by total, so five over six. One over two divided by the total, five over six. So you have to find the value zero. So states are my zero. That's the first position. So what is the, that? It is my two over five. It is my three over five. So what is that answer of this is one over. So right answer is five over two is the right answer of this problem. no need to solve the anything you have to apply this shortcut tricks for the 2 cross 2 okay look at this markov chain is given to you then it's not a double markov chain so you have to firstly draw the diagram three states are given to you i code as 1 2 and 3 1 2 3 1 2 1 1 2 2 1 2 3 2 2 1 2 2 2 and 3 to 
you clearly see that the diagonal entries are my non-zero. So the each straight is has a period one. That means it is my a periodic is given to you. Fine. If I prove that it is also the irreducible, then it has a unique distribution function. Look at that. How you can check is a irreducible? Is it possible you can start from the one and come? You can start from the one. Can you go from the two or three directly or indirectly? I can go to the three directly. I can go to the two here. Fine. But is it? I can yes, yes. Is it possible you can start from the two and go to the one and three both? From the two, yes. But two to three, I can go from the two to one, two to one, and then one to three. So that's possible. If you start from the three, can you go to the one? Not possible. It is not possible. So it means it is not a irreducible. Fine. So once it's not irreducible, so what is the meaning of that? This is my reducible. It is irreducible. It is a periodic. That's fine. So it means it has infinitely many distribution function. That is one remark. Now, secondly, you can check about all the period is one. You can check about that. The this is my close group one and two because you can go from the one and two ends here. Look at that. Wh whether the one is a recurrent or the transient, you can see. If you go from the one, can you come back to the one through each path? You can go from the one to two and two to one possible. But if you go from the one to three, but then you can never come back to the one. It means one is my transient. If one is transient, then two is also be a transient. Look at the three. Is it possible you can go from the three and come back to the three? The only way you can go from three to here, and it is possible. So this is my recurrent and since the diagonal entry is my one so this is also called as absorbed fine this is the behavior of this markov chain now look at that the following statement is true is irreducible cancel because it is a reducible the state is recurrent when it will be the recurrent when all these states are recurrent when all states are recurrent but one and two are my transient cancel does not admit a stationary distribution wrong because it has an infinitely stationary distribution it has an absorbing state yes 2 3 is my absorbing state this is the right answer of this problem okay look at this another one which of the following state are my recurrent recurrent unique and here that's again very simple you can draw the diagram always draw the diagram it will be easy for you there are the five states one Two, three, four, five. One to one. One to two. One to four. Fine. Then two to one. Two to four. This is three to three. Fine. Four to one. Four to two. Four to three not possible. Four to four, four to five not possible, and five to the each one. Five to three, five to one, five to four, five to five, and five to two. Look at the diagonal entries are not one for all, but it has a one. So the period of the D one is one. This is also one. That's a non-zero. So period of the three is also one. What is the period of the four? It's a non-zero. So the period is also one. Period of the five is also one. Now you can check about the period of the two. That is a GCD of how many ways are there? What is the path of this? You can see from one to this one, two. Here one, two, three. That is from two to four, four to one, one to three, three, and so on. So what is the GCD of this? It's a one again. So all has the one. So it means this is my a uh, period. Fine. So they are not talking about that. Fine. Now it's a unique or this. So we have proved the a period. Now check whether it is a irreducible or reducible. If you prove that it's a irreducible, then we will get as a unique stationary distribution. If you prove it's a irreducible, then we will get get as a infinitely many distribution. So look at that. Is it possible you can go from the one to the each state? One, two, three, four, and five. 
वन टू टू पॉसिबल वन टू थ्री आई कैन गो फ्रॉम वन टू फोर नॉट पॉसिबल वन टू आई कैन कैन यू गो फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री वन टू फोर इज अ पॉसिबल वन टू फाइव वन टू फाइव इज ऑल्सो बी नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज यू कैन गो फ्रॉम वन टू देर आर द ओनली टू वेज यू कैन गो वन टू टू और वन टू फोर फाइन सो इफ यू गो फ्रॉम वन टू टू देन टू टू फोर बट फोर टू फाइव इज नॉट पॉसिबल फोर टू थ्री इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल सो इट मीन्स यू कैन नेवर गो फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री और वन टू फाइव इट मीन्स इट इज नॉट अ इिसिबल बिकॉज देर इज अ वन टू स्टेट्स विच इज नॉट डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड और इनडायरेक्टली सो दिस इज अ इरिडिसिबल वंस दिस इज अ इरिडिसिबल वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इज इट इज इट हाउ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इट इज इन्फानेटली मैनी सो इट्स अ यूनिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कैंसर इट हैज मोर देन वन स्टेशनरी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फाइव नाउ हाउ यू कैन चेक अबाउट दैट यू कैन मेक द क्लासेस यू कैन सी वन टू 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 फोर फोर टू वन ऑल आर माई क्लॉज वन टू फोर इज माई क्लॉज थ्री देर इज ऑन देर इज नो वे यू कैन गो सो थ्री इज माई अब्जॉर्विंग और रेकुरेंट फाइन वन टू थ्री फाइव सो फाइव टू वन पॉसिबल फो फाइव टू वन पॉसिबल बट यू बट यू आर अनेबल टू कम बैक ऑन द फाइव सो फाइव इज माई ट्रांजिट फाइन मोर ओवर यू कैन सी दैट ओनली वन कॉलम इज माई फाइव फाइव दिस इज माई नॉन वन सो दिस इज माई ट्रांजिट सो फिफ्थ इज माई ट्रांजिट सो फिफ्थ इज माई ट्रांजिट थर्ड इज माई रेकुरेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज कैंसल आउट वन टू थ्री फोर आर माई सो थ्री इज नाउ वट इज द नेचर ऑफ दिस कैन यू go start from the one and come back to the one through the each path there are only two way you can go from 1 to 2 or 1 to 4 is it possible you can come back to the one again yes so one is my recurrent so you can see one is my recurrent so all are my in the same communicative class so one is recurrent two is recurrent four is also recurrent So one, two, four also recurrent. Three is also recurrent. Absorbing is also recurrent. So the right answer is B and D. That's the two and four are my correct options of this exam. Fine. So you have to check very carefully is a reducible or irreducible. Because the, why is not a irreducible? You can start from the one, but you can never go to the five through any way. Because one to four, but four to one, five is not possible. One to two, two to four, but it is not possible. So that's why it is a uh, uh, reduction. Okay, look at that recurrent. Now you can see again there is only one column. The position is my P three one, which is non one. Is it P one three is zero? Then you can say this column is my transient. Look at one three. One three is my zero. So it means this one is my transient. So one is recurrent, cancel out B. Any other? Look at this column, last column. This is a three comma three, which is a non one. Because it's a diagonal entry, that's fine. So opposite of them is also be there. So three is also my transient. So three is also the transient. The two options are cancel out. Now how you can do that? How you can check whether it's a zero and two are my recurrent? That's very simple. If I say now I have deleted this three and one, three and One, fine. Now you can see the remaining of one is a double mark of chain. Fine. Once is a double mark of chain. What is the meaning of that? The stationary probability will be. No, no, no. Sorry, it is not a double mark of chain. The column sum is not a one. It's not a double mark of chain. Anyhow, the sum, the remaining of one is a closed. Why is a closed? Because you can see two by three, one by three is a one. One by two, one by two is a one. So once is a clause. It means these are my recurrent classes. So this is my recurrent, and second there is a zero and two are also my recurrent. So the second and fourth are my correct options. Otherwise, the second method is if you are if you are not comfortable with this, but that's a shortcut tricks. Otherwise, you can draw the diagram one, two, and three. So zero to this. This is the first. This is the first point, and then zero to two. Here, one to zero, one to zero, two to zero. Here, two to two, self loop. 
थ्री टू ऑल थ्री टू वन थ्री टू दिस थ्री टू वन एंड हियर फर्स्टली यू कैन सी दिस डायग्नल एंट्री इज नॉन जीरो सो द पीरियड ऑफ द जीरो इज माई वन डायग्नल एंट्री इज नॉन जीरो सो द पीरियड ऑफ द टू इज माई वन पीरियड ऑफ द थ्री इज ऑल्सो माई वन फाइन नाउ how you can check whether one is a transient it means you can start from one is it possible that that you can come back to the one through the each path if i go from 1 to 0 1 to 0 then 0 to 2 i can go from the 0 to 2 and then 2 to again i can go back to 0 but i can never come back 0 to the 1 so there is a one path exist at least so it means one is my transient fine look at the zero if i start from the zero i can go to the two and then i can come back to the two also is there any other way you can go from no so that means zero is my recurrent fine zero and two are my closed loop you can see these are the closed so if this is my recurrent this is also my recurrent look at the three if i go from three to two can is possible to come back at the three then two to zero zero to only zero zero to come back to the two but it is not possible that you can go back two to the three so it means three is my transient fine so it means this is my transient this is transient other both are my recurrent so either you can do the diagram or otherwise you can see the simple shortcut ways now what is the if you want to find the period of the one so gcd of one how many ways you can come back to the one so if if you start from here that is one it is not possible you can come back to the one it is not possible because one is at one zero state so the gcd is not be here that's the gcd is not there is no possible way so you can find that is a one so it is a irreducible you can see can you is it easily possible you can start from the zero and come back to uh, to the other path you can go from the zero to no it's not possible so it is a irreducible so it means it it has infinitely many stationary points but they are not asking but if they ask you can think about that also okay now states are my 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 look at that this number only one column are there the position is 2 4 which is non one can the 4 2 is my zero if it is there then this number is my transient what is a 4 2 4 2 is my non zero so you can't say that 2 is 4 is my transient fine so you can't say that 4 is my transient so you can draw the diagram so states are my 0 1 2 sorry 1 2 3 4 1 2 4. 1, states are my 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 one path 2 2 3 2 2 4 Three to one, three to one, four to two, and four to three. This is the path. Now check whether it's a irreducible or not. So any of the diagonal is one? No. So it means there is not absorbing state. So look at the first option. One is absorbing state cancel. If any of the diagonal entry is one, the corresponding state is my absorbing. All are my recurrent communicate none of this. Look at that. If you start from the one, is it possible you can go from the one to two, one to three, or one to four? One to two, two possible. If I go, one to three, if I go from one to two and then two to three, it is also possible. One to four can be possible. If I go from one to two and then two to four, it is also possible. So it means this is my irreducible. Fine. Similarly, if you go from the two, two to one possible. Two to three, three to one possible. Two, two to three possible, two to four possible, three to one possible, three to two, three to two by three one two possible, three to four, three one two four possible. So that's a irreducible. That's a fine. Now you can check whether it is my uh, uh, periodic or not. How you can check that? You can find the period. What is the period of the one? So you can see one two three is a closed loop. So you can say one two three is my Communicating class. Also, you can see two and four are my communicating class. So, what is the meaning of that? One, two, three, four, all are my communicating classes. Fine. 
सो नाउ वट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इफ यू सेट ऑल आर माई कम्युनिकेटिंग क्लासेस सो नेचर ऑफ ऑल आर माई सेम सो वट इज़ दैट वन इज इट पॉसिबल यू कैन कम बैक टू दी वन थ्रू द ईच वे येस सो वन इज माई रेकुरेंट सो इट मीन्स टू इज रेकुरेंट थ्री इज रेकुरेंट फोर इज रेकुरेंट ऑल आर माई रेकुरेंट आर टू एंड फोर आर ओनली कम्युनिकेट क्लास दैट्स ए कैंसल बिकॉज ऑल आर माई कम्युनिकेटिंग क्लासेस ऑल दी स्टेट्स आर माई रेकुरेंट पॉजिटिव रेकुरेंट इज सेम दैट्स फाइन नॉन ऑफ दिस इज नॉट पीस ऑफ बी इज दी राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस बिकॉज ऑल हैव द सेम नेचर वट इज द पॉजिटिव रेकुरेंट इज इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर लाइक ऑफ दी वन 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 ऑफ एन इफ आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर इफ आई गेट एज ए फाइनाइट then we call as the positive this is nothing but my mu of i i so i i i is that's 1 1 that is if i call this number is my 1 1 2 times 1 1 of 2 what is the meaning of that if you open them that's a very simple what is the meaning of that is it possible you can come back from 1 to 1 in a one step self loop no be zero is it possible you can come back from the 1 to 1 in a two step no it is not possible it is also zero Three times is it possible you can come back to the in a three steps? Yes, from one to two, two to three, three to one. What is the probability of the one to two? Is one, two to three, one by three, three to one, one. So answer is one by three, and so on. And clearly say that it will be my finite. You can simply see it's a finite. So that is my positive recurrent. If one is a positive recurrent, all are my here. Right answer is B is the correct option. Okay, which of the following is my transition probability matrix? What is the tips for you? Sum of each row must be one, and because it's a probability, so each element must belong to the zero comma one. So any real number. If I say k is my seven, so this number will be my less than zero. Not satisfied. Cancel out. Less than zero point five. So if I say k is my minus 0.1, which is less than of this, this number is my negative. Cancel out. Any positive real number. If I say k is again 7, so again k is 7. This number will be my positive, but it is greater than 1. So this option also cancel. This is the right answer of this problem. Okay. Again, you can see the option. There is a limiting and the sum. What is the meaning of that? Look at the 2, 2, 2, and 2. If I prove, what is that tips for you? Again, if you prove this is my transient, then what is the meaning of that? P two two of n, whatever is here, is my zero, and summation of two two of this is my final. How you can prove that transient? Look at the states are my one two three four. There is only one column. This number is my two two. So that is. P two two is my non one, and opposite of them is same. So that is my two is my transient. If it is my transient, so it means this case is zero and sum will be. So equality is cancel out, one is cancel out. So the right answer is my B is the right answer. That is a simple way you can check about the transient state. Otherwise, you can draw the diagram. The second method is one two three four. So one two one. One two three, fine. Two two one, two two two, two two three, and three two four. Three two one, three two three, three two four. Four two one, four two three. Now you can see about that. If you start from the two, can you come back to the two? If I start from here in this direction, I can go from the two to one. One two three, I can go this side, or I can go from one to one, but I can never come back to the two through this path. If I go from the two to three, after that three, I can go either to the one, or I can go either to the four. If I go to the one, but it, it is not possible, you can reach to the two. If I go from the four, then either I can go to the one, or I can go back to the three. If I go back to the one again, it is not possible to the two. If I go back to the three again, go back to the one, but it is again not possible to the two. So it means two is my transient, fine. Right? And and the rest of them, you can see that it is my uh, recurrent classes are because you can see one, three, four, 
one three four is my closed loop is the communicating class and you can see one to four you can see it's a my uh, recurrent rest all are my ones okay so uh, i consider this as my states one two three four now you can see there is only one element but it is my one if it is a not one then only you can think about that transient but it is a one you can't say that so i can draw the diagram one two three four one to two is a possible two to one is only possible three to four is a possible and four to three is a possible this is there fine now what is what you can say about this option firstly is it irreducible what is the meaning of the irreducible you can start from the one you can go to the two you can go to the three you can go to the four either directly or indirectly is it possible you can go from one to two yes not not it means this is my not irreducible means this mark of chain is my reducible mark of chain fine now what is the period of this because now you can see they are in the same communicating class whatever the period of the one they are same period of the two so gcd of there is only two there is only one path so gcd of the this period of one is my two which is same as that of here similarly you can see these are the same communicating class so the period of the three is my two which is same as that of the four so the first option is a recurrent cancel out now look about this one so what is that 1 to 4 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 that means this is row sum is 1 so this is my closed 3 4 is my closed so this is the uh, and all the periods are my same is it a periodic no because for the a periodic you need a period to be the one so it is not a periodic now it has a reducible so it has infinitely many stationary distribution fine so all these states are recurrent now how you can check whether it's a recurrent or not you can see that is it possible you can start from the one and come back to the one yes so one is my recurrent so all are my close so two is also recurrent three is also recurrent four is also recurrent so all these states are recurrent is the correct option all these states have the same period yes but it is not a, a period limit exists that's the wrong option because it's infinitely many distribution so clearly say that when it has infinitely many uh, when it has infinitely many distributions then definitely the limiting values does not exist as a because sometime it's a 1 by 2 next time it may have a 1 by 3 it has infinitely many cases so limit does not exist so the right answers are my b and d are the correct options okay so look at this here now you can see that uh, these are my 0 1 2 3 these are my states there is no need to draw the diagram because if you want to draw the diagram it will be like of here because none of the value is my zero so since p i j is zero for each pair of the i and j what is the meaning of that it is my irreducible also you can see that diagonal entries are not zero so it is my a uh, periodic as well fine what is the period of the each state is one because the diagonal entry is my non zero so what is the meaning of that it has my unique stationary distribution fine all these states are there so they are the communicating class so 1 2 3 4 are my communicating class so what is the meaning of that are they recurrent or transient so you can see none of the column is a single value so all are my recurrent class fine now look at the option the chain is irreducible fine the state 1 and 2 are only recurrent class cancel out it is a recurrent markov chain when it will be the recurrent markov chain when all the states are recurrent then it implies that the markov chain is my recurrent and it is correct so this is the right answer how you can think about that you can see how i write the left hand side is start from the 2 to 1 p to 1 what is the time period is 5 7 two time period here 2 to 1 
what is the time period is 11 to 9th again these are two time you can see both are same so this is my right answer there is no need to compute them but if you want to compute them you can find the p square and look at the values of the 0 1 2 3 2 1 this number whatever the p square observation you can find this is the right answer so right answers are a b and d are my correct answers okay look at that the state space are my 0 2 4 6 0 2 4 6 uh, it's it is not a diagonal and uh, it is not a double stochastic look at the first state only one value position is my 2 0 which is non 1 fine if 2 0 is my 0 then this state is my transient 0 2 which is my non 0 so it means 0 is my not a transient state now you can draw the diagram how you can draw the diagram states are my 0 2 4 6 0 to 2 2 to 0 2 to 4 4 to 2 4 to 6 6 to 6 clearly say that one of the diagonal entry is 1 so it means this 6 is my absorbing state or you can also call as this is my recurrent state fine now firstly we will check about whether it's a irreducible or not is it possible you can start from the 0 and reach at 2 4 or 6 position 0 to 2 possible 0 to 4 possible 0 to 6 is also possible so this is fair can it is possible from 2 to 0 2 to 4 and 2 to 6 2 to 0 possible 4 possible 6 possible similarly 4 to 0 4 to 2 2 to 0 possible this possible this possible but from the 6 look at that from the 6 it is not possible is it possible you can go from the 2 4 6 to 0 no possible not possible not possible is it irreducible not possible so what is the meaning of that this mark of chain is my reducible mark of chain what is the period is it a periodic diagonal entries are not there so you can see what is the period of the zero gcd of how many step you can come back to the zero that is a two step but if you go from the zero to two one two three four fine only four are this this is there so gcd is my two fine now also you can see 0 2 4 are my closed class 0 2 4 are my communicating class so period of the 0 is my 2 so the period of the 2 period of the 4 is also my 2 so what is the meaning of that is it a periodic what is the period it, it must be the one so it is not a, a period once it has a irreducible so what is the meaning of that it has infinitely many stationary distributions so now look at that it is irreducible cancel 0 and 6 are the recurrent but 6 is my recurrent and okay how you can check that 0 and 6 are my recurrent so what you can say is it a uh, recurrent what is a 4 look at 4 has only one element okay so now you can see 4 has only one element so p24 is my non 1 and what is a p42 4 2 is my it's my non zero it's my non so you can't see anything so you can see about here if you go from the 4 if you go from the 2 side is it possible you can come back to the 4 again this 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 possible but if you go from the 4 to 6 then you are unable to come back at the 4 what is the meaning of that this is my transient fine although it is not satisfied from here because if it is satisfied then it's a transient if it is not then you have to draw the diagram so 4 is transient it means this all are my transient so this is cancel out this is my only 6 is a recurrent state but only 6 is not be there because 6 is my absorbing recurrent as well but if it others are recurrent then only you can say it is my recurrent but 6 is my absorbing state none of the others are recurrent so you can't say it is a recurrent so this is my absorbing so this option is cancel out 0 2 4 6 are my close communicating class you can see 6 is my individual group 0 2 4 fine so you can see 
zero no uh, sorry i think this is the right because absorbing or recurrent are same this is a correct answer are the clause what is the meaning of the clause is you can see if i take as a 2 2 and 2 this element it must be the one but it is not a one 04 this 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 and this you can see the sum of the, sum of the each row is not a one look at the six this is satisfied but this is the only closed communicate class this is not a closed class this is not a closed class so the only six is my recurrent as well as absorbing state c is my correct answer okay look at this another case so uh, look at that diagonal entries are non zero so it means each of the state is my one so it means the markov chain is my uh, periodic fine now you can draw the diagram 1 2 3 are my states 1 2 3 1 2 1 1 2 2 1 2 3 2 2 1 2 2 3 here so is it possible you can start from the one and go to the two or three directly or indirectly yes similarly if is it possible you can go from the 2 to 1 yes 2 to 1 1 2 3 yes is it possible you can go from the 3 to 1 and 3 to 2 not possible it means this is my reducible markov chain it is not irreducible so the first option is cancel now if you what is the states are there now you can see 1 and 2 are my closed group 3 diagonal entry is 3 is there so this is my absorbing or you can say this is the recurrent as well 1 and 3 are the same class but if you go from the 1 to 3 you can never come back to the 1 so what is the meaning of that this is my transient if this is my transients so both are the same communicate class this is also my transient this is recurrent so xn is a recurrent it happen only when all are my recurrent but it is not true xn has absorbing state yes it does not admit a stretchy that's the wrong statement because it is a it is a reducible so it has infinitely many stationary distribution but he said does not so this option is cancel right option is only d is the correct answer okay look at that limiting value of p j i of n this is the expected value i denoted as of here so clearly say that if look at this index if i is my transient what is the value of this this value must be zero or what is the meaning of that if this value must be zero it means mu i i must be my infinite fine but here you can see if i is transient it is a reducible okay now what is the remark for you uh, if you remember that i have solved the one question related to the expected value in previous which is come as 1 over mu i i that is denoted as a mu i i i written this number as limiting of p i of n this is the formula i have given you so what is that this is the same of this so what is the possibility of this i that i must be my recurrent find and the markov chain must be my a uh, periodic state then only this formula will be applicable so transient not possible because this if it is transient then this value must be zero so is a transient is not possible fine now is a recurrent that's fine is a recurrent that's fine a uh, periodic that's fine irreducible yes fine because these are the conditions when only you can find the limiting probabilities is a uh, irreducible because this is my stationary distribution that's always unique so irreducible a uh, periodic will give the unique distribution and this is the definition for the recurrent so the right answer is my c rest all options are cancel okay look at this a markov chain is given to you from 1 to 100 2i and 2j are communicate to each other and 2i minus 1 2j minus 1 are communicate to each other what is the meaning of that these are my even classes these are my odd classes further okay firstly we can draw here so states are from 1 to 100 so states are my 2 to 2 4 6 8 and up to 100 they are communicating to each other it means 
this communicate to each other two can be six communicate to each other this communicate to each other and here fine similarly six and four are communicate to each other this are communicate to each other this are communicate to each other four and eight are communicate to each other four and ten are communicate to each other and so on on the other hand this is the one three five and up to ninety nine these are communicate to each other these are communicate to each other here and here these are communicate these are communicate and all are communicate to each other fine so firstly this is a complete markov chain is it irreducible no why because you can never go back from 2 to 1 there is no connectivity here so it is a not a reducible so markov chain is reducible irreducible cancel out is it a periodic now how you can say uh, you have to find because all are in the same communicate class so 2 4 6 up to 100 are my one class 1 3 up to 99 are my one class so if i found the period of the two these are the period of the rest of them so what is the period of the two that is the gcd of you can see about how many possible we are there so one here that's only way so that's the gcd is my two two path are there second is if i go from this to here one then two to six two to four two and then two six to two how many way are there three ways and so on so now you can see gcd of two and three is one so this has the period one similarly this has the period four and up to hundred same you can see what is that period period of the one gcd of one and here so this is a two gcd of two second way is you can see one two three again it's a one so all has my period one so it is my a uh, period fine so second option is correct once is irreducible note so it means this is my irreducible so it has infinitely many mark uh, stationary distribution now you have to check about the uh, distribution uh, recurrent or not now look at the another line what is that p33 is my greater than 0 so that is my 33 r here 44 4 is there here one point is 2 to 5 there is a 2 there is a 5 so one path from here to this so that is one path from this point to this fine now look at the option 8 is my recurrent what is the meaning of the 8 recurrent is if you start from the 8 if you are able to come back on the 8 then it is a recurrent look at that you can go from the 8 to 6 you can go from 8 to 4 you can go from 4 to 2 fine now once you can go here you can go from 2 to 5 you can go back from 4 5 to 1 but is it possible from this side to this 8 is in this block is it possible you can go from this to this it is not possible once you are entering into this path it is not possible that you can come back on this 8 it means 8 is my transient state fine so 8 is my here look at that 9 if you start from the 9 you can go from 9 to 7 you can go from 7 to 1 because all are my closed but you can never come back on this side because there is no path involved on that once it is not path involved then you can easily move from 1 to 9 as well or through any of the way because there is no way you can go back to the even classes so it means it is possible that you can start from the 9 come back on the 9 it is my recurrent so the right answers are b and d are my recurrent this is this question is slightly logically you have to think about because of this term remember this is a one of the most important key role of this problem okay now look at this another question which is uh, an interesting one irreducible markov chain is given to you finite state is given to you so i can consider any finite state so it's a very simple example i can consider as a two state markov chain so my transition probability will be my 1, 2 fine so the easiest way i can consider this as a identity matrix p is my transition probability p n is here alpha i j is my limiting probability which of the following is always exist following are there 
एल्फा आई जे एल्फा के जे एल्फा आई जे एल्फा के जे दैट्स अ वेरी सिंपल फर्स्ट केस आई कैन सिंपली टेक आई इज गुड वन जे इज गुड वन वट इज दैट इट विल बी एल्फा वन वन वट इज द एल्फा आई जे इज हियर फाइन सो वट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस इज लिमिट एंड अप्रोच इज इन्फिनिटी समेशन एम वेरी फ्रॉम वन टू एन पी वन वन ऑफ एम सो नाउ यू कैन सी दिस द आइडेंटिटी मेट्रिक्स If I found the p square, it is also i. If I found the p cube, it is also i. So what is that? It is limiting probability of one by n. What is the probability that you can go from in the one step if you open as a one plus one one of the two step and then so on. So one step probability is one because here what is the p square is also i. So the probability is one one. How many are there? How many summations are there? So what is that? This is n by n is one. so the alpha 1 1 will be my 1 if i say alpha k j if i simply take k is my 2 j i already taken as a 1 so what is the alpha 2 1 limiting probability 1 by n of p of 2 1 of m what is the meaning of that if i open this 2 1 of 1 2 1 of 2 and so on fine So what is the answer of this? Two one. This is my one. Two one. That is a one. Two one two. One to two probability will be zero. P square. P square is also same. Again two one will be my zero. Zero up to the n times zero. And what is the average of this is zero. It's a one. It's a zero. So this option is cancel. Again you can see this option. Alpha i j is always greater than zero for all i and k. So you can see alpha two one is exactly zero, but he said greater than zero. This option is also cancel. Fine. The sequence p i j and converges to here. So again, I can take the same example because I consider the Markov chain as a finite p. Okay, what is a p one one of one? One one of one is my one. What is the p for all pairs? Remember, this is for all pairs. Fine. Okay. What is the p one one of two? It is also one. Fine. Now, p i j. If I consider, uh, I can consider one one. That's fine. There is no problem. Okay. Uh, p i j n. P i j n converges to the alpha i j. If I start from the alpha i j, limiting value of P one one of one, P one two, oh sorry, P one one of two, and so on. Fine. Now look at that. If I think about here, what is the value of this? When n is even, no. Uh, for each case, this is a one 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 one. If I just reverse the example, zero one one zero. What is the value of the P one one of one? Zero. If I found the P square. It will be one zero zero one. So, what is the meaning of that? P i j of n, or you can say one one. It will be zero when n is my odd. Look at that. If it is a square, then it will be my one for n is even. So, if I think about the one one zero, it will be my one because it's even. Again, odd plus even and then so on. So how many are there? How many one are there? It will be n by two. Fine. So as limit n approaches infinity, the so answer is half. So alpha i j will be half. But you can say this p i j n where it converges. You can see if this is there, what is the limiting probability? Is half and half. Diagonal entries. This is for the odd. But in this case, it is my zero and one. This are here. So it can never be. Same. It converges. What is the p i j n as converges? It's a zero one, but it is not true. So this option is also cancel. Look at the second option. Now on the left, uh, rest option is there, so that will be the right answer. But how you can prove that? That's again a very simple. You have to find summation of the j alpha i j. So that's a very simple. I can take the limit and approach is infinity one by n outside summation m is one. Of p i j of m. If I open this summation j, what will happen? It is m is equal to one to n p i one of m. 
summation m is equal to 1 to n p i 2 of 1 and so on what is that you can think about that what is given to you this is nothing but my rho sum what is the rho sum is 1 rho sum is 1 rho sum is 1 because of the markov chain so 1 by n is outside this is n by n is my 1 this is the same of the option so the right answer is my b is the correct answer okay look at this uh, another this is a statement wise markov chain is given to you with the finite states so consider the states are my 1 2 3 it has a stationary probability fine but remember this stationary probability is a unique or infinite it is not given to you that it is a unique one then chain is not irreducible chain is not irreducible it means this is my reducible mark of chain once this is a reducible mark of chain then uniqueness will be cancelled out okay admit infinitely many solution that's two cannot admit exactly two remember either the answer will be one or infinity but it can never be exactly two then the markov chain cannot admit exactly markov chain that's the correct state so this the one is the right answer admit infinitely mark many markov chain sometime it may sometime may not be because infinite markov chain will exist if all the states are my transient or the states are my closed or non-closed then you are unable to find the conditions for the uniqueness rk so the which of the following markov chain is correct cannot admit that's correct may not admit any that's true also you may also have a no solution like if you have p minus i transpose is zero there are so many cases where you can you are unable to get the unique solution so that is also the correct option for that's a right answer is my only d is the right answer okay which of the following is my here and this is June 17, which of the following statements are my correct statements. Look at that, a finite state Markov chain, a finite state Markov chain, if I consider the two state 1 and 2, a finite state mark, there is at least one transient state. That's also true. If I just consider this example, 0 state, 1 state, fine. It's a finite and you can see that 0 is a transient, 1 is an absorbing state. So at least one of them is a transient, it's a fine state. For a finite state Markov chain, if, remember, if f is my finite, then you will get always a unique solution, provided your this is my irreducible. But there is at least one stationary distribution, but is it given to you that whether it's a, uh, it's a finite state Markov chain? then there is at least one stationary distribution at least one it means it may more than one but it is always with a unique so this option is cancelled out for a countable state markov chain every state can be transient that's true this is the same example for that a periodic countable markov chain a periodic a periodic but they are not talking about whether it's a reducible or irreducible so you can't say anything about that whether it's a closed or not closed this is not given to you it simply said countable countably finite or infinite it is not given about that you are not sure about its solution so the right answer of these problems are my a and c are the correct options okay which of the following statement is here correct statement if the markov chain is a periodic and irreducible if the markov chain is a periodic then there exists a stationary distribution but there exists always a unique distribution there exists there is always a unique distribution okay periodic and there is a stationary distribution that's a correct statement there exists it is not exist this always so that's a cancel this is there if s is a finite s is a finite then there exists a stationary distribution but what is the nature of the s it is either whether how you can say that whether s is a finite but is a is, whether it's a periodic or un, or whether it's a irreducible or not that's a not correct option because it is nothing given about the periodicity a periodic whether it's a, a periodic or irreducible s is finite then there is exactly 
one stationary if s is finite then there is exactly one station that's the uniqueness is there that's a correct state okay look at this i think this is the last question yes this is the last question about that consider the markov chain such that p i j is greater than 0 p j i is greater than 0 what is the meaning of that i communicate j j communicate i what is the meaning of that i and j are in the same communicating class once they are in the same communicating class if i is my recurrent j is recurrent if i is transient j is transient if i is recurrent j is recurrent is the correct option if both are in the same communicate class as i told you the period of this are also be the same this is also the same for each there exists a r such that p i j r is greater than 0 then j is cannot be the transient that's again a wrong statement if i simply say this is my state of this fine so if i say this is my 0 1 state this is 1 0 1 0 fine then for i j if i consider i is 1 j is my 1 j is my 2 or j is my 1 this is my p what is the p square 1 0 0 1 if I consider R is greater than 0, R is my 1. So what is the P11 one one of 1? P11 one one of 1. That is 11 one one of 1 is my 0. But he said greater than 0. But we need example which is satisfied here. So I consider R is my 2. This satisfied. Then J cannot be the transient. But you can see that this is my transient. So this option is, what is that? This option is my cancel. Look at the last option. If P i j, if this condition hold and it is a null recurrent, P i j is my i is my null recurrent, j is my positive recurrent. That's wrong option. Reverse is true. So that is the wrong option. A and B are the correct options. So these are the various shortcut tricks as I explain you how you can check about that. Now I can summary the options. What is the summary tip of that? If Remember that the limiting probability is equivalent to the stationary probability, but converse is not true. Okay, that is a whenever this means if you consider the limiting probability as n approaches infinity, it doesn't mean that the pi stationary are here. When it will be same? When you prove that it is irreducible, when you have the finite Markov chain as well as the aperiodic, irreducible, aperiodic, and finite, then you have a unique stationary distribution and that stationary distribution is called as the limiting and stationary both are same if you prove that your finite markov chain has a unique distribution unless it has two or more close communicating class look at that zero one how you, as i explained you in this video how you can check the zero one close you can see this is my zero one you can see sum is my one 3 is also close, you can see 3 and 3, there is only 1, the sum is 1, itself 1, 2 is not a close because 2 and 2, this is my non 1, it means these are the 2 are my close class, unless the chain has 2 or more are my close class, then you have the unique distribution, otherwise you can simply prove a periodic and irreducible, then it is a uh, unique distribution. If your state classification, if you're closed, as I told you in the one example, it is a non-closed, then all the states are my transient. If it is a finite then and closed, then it may be the, then it is always be the recurrent. If it is a infinite, then recurrent as well as transient both. How you can say the positive recurrent and here you can see if it is non-closed, then always be the transient cases are. These are the summary of this. If it is a finite class A, then the stationary distribution exists, may or positive recurrent always, a periodic, then if it is a periodic, it's a finite state, irreducible, then the stationary distribution and the are here and so on. These are the summary. You can see this is for the irreducible. You can see it's irreducible, it's a periodic, then the stationary probability is the unique one. Yes, otherwise not. So I hope you can learn many shortcut tricks in this for solving the problem. I hope you can like, share and comment my this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.